Good morning, motor cars. The day is Monday, May 23rd, and I hope everybody had a great weekend. 1788, South Carolina became the eighth state in the United States. 1830, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad became the first passenger service in the United States. 1934, Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow were killed in a police shootout. Thought for the day. If you got an email from Automotive News to fill out the 2016 Best Dealership to Work For survey, please submit it. Uh, your response before uh, must be in before June 10th. So the best thing to do is just do it right away and so you make sure you get, you get it in. The survey is completely confidential and very easy to take. If you have any problems or questions on, on doing uh, how to do it, please contact Mike Buner because he's very versed on what to do. So anyway, please take a couple, you know, a couple minutes, fill the survey out. It's very important to us. We're talking about empowerment today. I got three examples of people that used the, uh, the $200 empowerment, and I think they made wise decisions. One, we had a customer at the Toyota store who's bought um, uh, six cars from us, and they had some surface rust on their vehicle, and it could just be rubbed off. But the customer wasn't satisfied with that. They felt that it was going to have frame rust like the many pickup trucks that, we've, that Toyota's had problems with, and they wanted to have undercoating coating put on the, the vehicle. Now, Toyota turned it down, and uh, Don Schaefer took it upon himself to uh, tell the individual customer that we would you know, rust proof it, and they were very satisfied with that. We got a happy customer, and that was a good choice, Don, and your empowerment there. Uh, another customer thought that. Um, of Adam Howells thought <clears throat> that um, the cargo net was included in the deal, which it wasn't. And uh, he um, went ahead and got from the car cargo net. And the customer since then has sent him two customers to buy cars. Now, the only thing, Adam, I would have done different is I probably would have taken the money out of my pocket or wrote a check to motor cars for the cargo net. That way, the customer is thinking you're really, you know, you really care about satisfying them. And they would really be tied to you, but they sent you a couple customers. So, I guess you did just as good that way. Anyway, remember it's a show, and when you do something like that, try to get the most bang for the buck. Another customer had a long wait for F and I, um, uh, and we, you know, um, uh, we gave them two free oil changes, which was definitely if, if that satisfied the customer for the wait, great because the oil change will get them back in here. You know, anyway, good use, guys, of empowerment. Let's get everybody keep looking for things that. You know, if something doesn't go completely right, let's make the customer happy. That's what it's all about. Upcoming events. Today at 12 o'clock, we're going to have the Burt Weiss Award under the solar panels at the Honda store. Please be there a couple minutes before noon so we can start right at noon. And I promise you, you'll be out of there before 1230 with a full belly and uh, hopefully have some fun. So anyway, 12 o'clock today under the, the solar panels at Honda. 40th annual Motor Cars Blossom Run will be held this weekend, uh, May 29th. Please uh, uh, come down to it. It's, you know, it's going to be a. I think it's been a good time. The run's always fun to watch. Um, there'll be a parade at two o'clock in the afternoon, which is is I think it's one of the largest parades in Ohio, and that's always always fun. And if anybody wants to, we're going to have a. Um, I think we're going to have the bus in it, and people can throw candy out and. That's always fun to do things like do that and you know become a part of the, the, the parade. So people come down, enjoy yourselves, have fun. Hope you're all going to run in the race and, uh, and it'll be a good day. Uh, open enrollment for health care is June 16th. So everybody must come over to that meeting on June 16th and you're going to go over the, the you know, health care and the changes that are made to it. Now, we left CADA and... Uh, went with the idea that this would be a, a better program for us. I just took a look at what uh, employee and family costs were at CADA this year, and uh, we're $313 cheaper. So right now it's look like a good decision, but everybody has to keep supporting the program. Uh, Crane's Magazine uh, had an April uh, 25th issue. They had what they call the list, which rate different businesses or different co companies in North, uh, Northeast Ohio 
on different categories. One of the categories was family owned businesses ranked by the local full time employees. And I'm proud to say that motor cars was number 21st. So the 21st largest uh, family owned business uh, in Northern Ohio. So that's that was quite an honor. So thank you everybody there. Uh, the delivery bays, you can see the glasses coming up. Uh, it's, it's, it's going fast and it's going to be definitely done by our, our, our uh, deadline of July 1st. So it's coming good. Anyway, uh, uh, my heroes of the day. Well, my hero is Mike Buner today. Uh, let me see. i got to get my suit out for Mike. <laughs> anyway, Mike did a great job fixing the office printer for the girls. And so all the girls in the office wanted to say thanks a lot, Mike, and good job. And everybody, let's have a great day, and uh, we'll see you at noon. Thank you.